tonight. Breaking news out of Balk Springs as we join you. We got crews who have spent the evening tonight fighting this massive inferno. All of this starting around 7 o'clock this evening at an auto shop on South Beltline Road. We're told the fire quickly spread to nearby businesses. Let's get right to JD Miles. Quite a lot of damage we know, JD. Good news, nobody hurt. That's still the case. That's still the case, Doug, and here at Beltline and Pioneer, we are surrounded really in a cloud of smoke. You can probably barely see me through the lens. Where fortunately, though, is more smoke than flames at this point. I think you can see some just over the top of that pickup truck burning off in the distance. The latest is the fire is under control, no injuries, but a lot of damage and a lot of questions about the pallet company where this fire started earlier this evening. We are told the fire reached up to four alarms when it started and 15 fire engines from departments in three cities, Dallas, Siegelville, and Balk Springs, arrived. They've been out here for several hours. The Balk Springs Fire Marshal says it started inside the pallet company where a worker was inside doing um, an unknown assignment. Considering there was so much wood with these pallets, the fire spread fast, spreading into two nearby auto shops and destroying several cars under repair. The fire marshal says the pallet company had failed inspections in the past, but had recently been working on improving safety. There's been a lot of work done on the pallet yard to get it in compliant. Um, that, that's been done. Um, it was time again for the inspection for this year. It hasn't been completed yet, but uh, as, a, as of last year's annual inspection, he, he did become compliant. And as you see here, firefighters loading up an empty stretcher. That's a good sign. That's a sign there are no injuries out here. Again, though, a lot of damage. We don't know the extent of it yet. Um, firefighters have sealed off this area. They say that the areas that are um, really burning at this point have been um, cut off from spreading any further. We've seen some flying embers coming over our heads, landing here in the grass. But right now, it looks like things are under control. Again, though, a massive Four alarm fire in Bog Springs consumes three businesses, and tonight firefighters have a lot of work ahead to put the final flames out. Live in Bog Springs, JD Miles, CBS 11 News.